Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope your new year has gotten off to a great start. I know mine has for sure. And the first video that's gonna be up on my channel is going to be my collab video with Heather from Love Heatherette. And this is going to be my 2016 yearly favorites. So normally when I get ready to film these favorites, I surround myself with my makeup. I open every single drawer that I have of makeup. And from there, I create my list. Um, this year I decided to do it different because every year when I do that I pick items that I liked but I didn't love them but I didn't use them all year round and so this time I sat at my desk at work and I created this list during lunch and so by doing that it required me to remember the items I loved instead of visually seeing them be like oh, I did like that primer for a month so all the items that are on this video are going to be items that I've truly loved throughout 2016 and I use them year round. So the first item we're gonna talk about is the primer I used in 2016. The primer I used is the Porefessional from Benefit. I originally had this as a sample size and that lasted me about three months maybe because I used the tiniest, tiniest little bit. And then I got the full size and I've literally, I've only used this primer the entire year. I had used some Milani primers just to get rid of them. I didn't like them as much as I like this one. So the Benefit Porefessional has definitely been my favorite primer of 2016. In 2017, I'm thinking of diving into the primer world and getting different primers. So if you have large pores, and oily skin, please recommend to me a really good primer that you used. I do like this one, it just doesn't control my oil as much as I would like it to. And that I started using towards the end of the year, probably starting in mid-October, is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in shade 110. Um, I don't know, it's in the, the name is Creamy Natural. I got this from Target, it was on clearance. So maybe, I don't know if they're discontinuing this line. I really hope they're not because I really like the foundation. It's what I'm wearing today. This gives me a fresh, natural look. It's not super heavy, it's not super thin. It's just that nice medium wear. Um, and it says it gives you the fresh complexion. It's oil-free. Um, it's one simple step that lasts all day. I clog my pores, it gives me good coverage, and it doesn't fall into my creases or into my pores. So that's a plus. Ready, set, gorgeous from CoverGirl, really good. The foundation that probably changed my entire makeup life is this CC Plus Cream from It Cosmetics. It is Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum Plus um, SPF 50. This is amazing. I've heard so many good things from this for so many years. Coffee Break with Danny raved about it. Um, Marissa Lace raves about it. And other YouTubers also rave about it. And I always like, mm, you know, it's probably really good. But what kind of made me not want to try it is one of the ingredients in it. And that ingredient is snail poop. <laughs> there is snail poop in this. Um, I think that's the secret to the anti-aging is the snail poop. This gives me great coverage. It protects my skin. It helps anti-aging. And I think this is actually what's been helping me with my acne a lot. I know Marissa Lay said that in her video that this foundation is what changed her skin. And I 100% agree with her. I used to break out all the time. But now I only get few breakouts when it's around that time of the month. And even with that, they go away instantly because this foundation is so good for my skin. For concealers this year, I discovered two new ones and they are going to be a drugstore and a high end. The NARS Concealer in Custard. So this has been a talked about item on YouTube for years. Probably when I started watching YouTube, when I started doing YouTube, so about five years ago, I've always heard about NARS Custard. NARS Custard Concealer is the best. NARS Custard Concealer is amazing. You'll never go back to another concealer. And so during the VIV sale, I noticed that they had travel size of this for $12. And I said, yes, I'm gonna jump on it because I don't wanna buy the full size if I don't like it because I'm very picky with my concealers. But this NARS Creamy Custard Concealer is so good. 
It is thick, but high coverage, blendable. It shears out, it melts into your skin. It's what I'm wearing today. Um, like I said, this is a $12 one. It's about half the size of a full size one, but li a little tiny bit of this goes a long way. I do three dots, push it back in, three dots, and we're done. Blend it out, gives me nice, nice coverage. This actually lasts longer than my foundation. So this has now got me thinking of trying NARS foundations. So if you have tried a NARS foundation, please let me know which ones you've tried and I would love to check it out. And if you haven't checked out the NARS concealer, I do suggest getting the travel size like this for $12 just to try it out. Trust me, I know you'll love it. I got the shade Custard, like I said. I believe that's a second to lightest shade. Um, I use this for under my eyes, so I want it to brighten. I do want to get the shade darker than Custard to see if it would help with my acne spots. The concealer that I fell in love with this year is going to be the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. When this says heavy duty, it means heavy duty. Literally half a size of a pea is perfect for both of my eyes. If I use any more than that, I have way too much. Um, this is really, really high coverage. Let me show you. So you can kind of see my veins here. Let's do a little tiny dot. And blend it out. Look at that, super heavy duty concealer. This concealer is great. I am tempted to try the Hard Candy Foundation. Um, so let me know if you've tried that and what your thoughts are on it. But I love this concealer. This is the shade Light. Onto a translucent powder that I discovered this year. I purchased this on Black Friday. It is the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder in Translucent. This is a buttload of product. It's gonna last forever. But if you are not an oily person, like I mean like oily, like super, super, du super duper oily, like I'm super oily. If you have normal to dry skin, do not get this because this powder is not gonna work for you. But if you are oily, this is going to be a miracle worker because this really does lock in your foundation and your concealer. It dry, it, I don't know creates miracles, makes my skin look smooth and flawless, and my foundation doesn't go anywhere. I am wearing it today, and I feel like my skin looks pretty matte besides where I put some highlighter. Really do like it. The only thing I don't like about it is that the sifter is kind of weird. Um, a lot of it comes out at once. It kind of like pours out. So if you do travel with this, just be aware half of the product is going to be out when you open it after you travel. Because I did buy this back home where I live in New Mexico and half of the product was already out when I put it in. But all I had to do was tap here and it all went down. Los Cobos Bronzer from Sephora. And here it is. The Sephora makeup line is a brand that is overlooked. You walk into Sephora, you walk straight to Too Faced, you walk straight to Kat Von D, you walk straight to Tarte. Um, I rarely look at the Sephora counter. Um, for some reason, I walked in, I was wanting something, I forgot what it was, but they didn't have it, and I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna grab something from the Sephora line, and I grabbed this bronzer. This bronzer, super creamy, super blendable, super natural really do like it. I actually think Nicole from Young, Wild and Polished got me hooked on this because I think she talked about it on her Snapchat or her Instagram or her YouTube, one of those social media sites. I really do like it. It's super blendable. It's super creamy, super pigmented, and it's also pretty cheap for being high end. All right, for blush, I decided to throw in two Holy Grail blushes as well. And these are kind of like staple colors. These are colors I discovered that I need to get more of in my collection because I love the way they look on me. So the first one is what I'm wearing today. It is Cheeky Bugger from MAC. It is from the Kelly Osborne collection. And I am mentioning this because I have this Facebook group that I follow, which I will link down below. Um, I see this on sale 
all the time for reasonably priced. This is just your classic pink color. Everyone needs a classic pink. This is a classic pale pink and I love it. I use it for shows, I use it for work, I use it when I go out, I use it pretty much for everything. I would probably also put this on my mother. My mother is a little bit deeper of a skin tone than me and I know this would look great on her. Plus MAC blushes are just my favorite formula ever. So there it is right there. It is just your classic pink. It does have a hint of shimmer in it. It is a satin, so that's probably why. But I will have the Facebook group linked down below because I'm telling you guys, this blush is overlooked by a lot of people. A lot of people see it. They're just like, oh, that's a classic pink color. We don't need it, but you do. The next blush is Cream Soda from MAC. It's from the Betty, no, it's from the Archie collection and it's the Betty blush. This is a nice peach blush. It's very, very natural. This is even more natural than the Cheeky Bugger. This just gives you that nice natural flush that my, my skin personally makes. So there it is right there. And I actually got this from the Facebook group. I got it for a pretty reasonable price. I think it was only like maybe $8 more than what is what it normally sold for. So there it is. And I need to get more blushes like this. So if you have a recommendation of a blush that's kind of this cream soda type peachy orange look, then let me know down below. To a blush that is not limited edition that you can still get in stores. This was a blush that was rumored to be discontinued and that is why I purchased it in 2015 is because I, I've always loved this blush, but it was rumored to be discontinued and that is Dallas. Um, a rumor was going around that Dallas was being discontinued, but I've seen it on the shelf throughout the entire year. But this is your classic mauve color. It's really pretty. I know a lot of people think this could be used as a bronzer, but for me, it kind of reminds me of MAC Warm Soul without the shimmer. So there it is. It's super pretty. It's great for in the summer when you have a nice touch of sun to your skin. You're a little bit deeper normally in the summer and you just put it on and it gives you that nice rosy mauve color. Really good. Um, Benefit blushes. I've learned to like them. Originally I did not like the formula of this blush because it's very powdery. It also had like a hard shell on top of it, but once I got past like that first layer, the blush got better. So if you are having a hard time with any of your Benefit powder products, just, I just think they just put like maybe something on top of it. I don't know, but it was, there was like a weird hard shell on top. Once I got through it, it works great. Moving on to an, moving on to an item that I used as a blush and a highlight, and it's a drugstore item. It is from Wet n Wild. It's their Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. Um, is there a certain shade? Nope, I think there's only one. So it's this one. So what I would do as a blush, so I would hold it like this. I would get my brush to be on the dark pink and the light pink and I would put it on. And since the dark pink can serve as a blush, there it is. And then the light pink can definitely serve as a highlight. So whenever I was in a rush, I would get this item and I would set it up exactly that way. So when I got my brush and I brushed it on, it gave me a blush and highlight at the same time. So there it is. So this is them together and then this is them individually. So together it's a beautiful light luminous blush. And then just recently I started using it as an actual highlighter and I swirl all the colors together and it's the highlight I am wearing today. I really, really do enjoy it. It's a really, really nice product. It is super powdery though. So that is one thing I discovered is that it is super, super powdery. So if you are using this, get a nice fluffy brush, swirl it around. You're gonna get a lot of excess product, tap it off and then put it on. You will have to go in two to three times to get the perfect highlight because every time you tap it off, too much of it comes off, you know. it's, it's it, This is a, you need to work with it, learn how to use this highlight and this product. So yeah, it's really good. And sometimes what I would do is I would just get the excess like this and I would put it on. 
and just gives you that nice subtle highlight natural this is a perfect work highlight because I know a lot of highlights that I have like my champagne pop it's a little too popping and this one's a little more natural a palette I fell in love with this year is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. I almost dropped it. Um, this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette that comes with four highlighters and neutral colors. So there they are. If you guys would like a review on this, let me know. Um, I don't know if it is out anymore. That's why I never filmed a video on it because I thought it was kind of like a one-time thing that it was in stores. But anyways, um, the shades that I really, really did like is this medium brown, this um, like rose gold shadow and then this deep bronze. I also liked this mauve color and the two highlights that I absolutely enjoyed were these first two. I'm still playing around with it but I really do like it. I really do like the formula. I'm actually interested in getting more BH Cosmetics eyeshadows so let me know down below which ones you like but this Carly Bible palette was so beautiful. I saw it in stores and that's why I purchased it. I probably would have never gotten it if it was never at my local Ulta. If it was only online, I would have gotten it because because I didn't think I needed it. But then when I swatched it, I was like, I need it. It's so pretty. These highlights, guys. Highlights are gorgeous. So pretty. And so natural and so easy to blend. I really do like it. A palette I thought I would never get is the Modern Renaissance palette. I didn't want this palette until... I love Heatherette so until I watched Heather's videos and I saw all the looks that she created with this palette. The reason why I never thought I would want this palette is because of all the berry tones. I never thought I would use them. I, I was like, I'm never going to use red ochre ever. I'm never going to use um, fresco, bone fresco. And I'm never going to use love letter, which is this one right here. I'm never going to use this orange shade. But, you know, I watched Heather's video and then I watched other people's videos on this and I was like, dang it, I need it because everyone was, 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 everyone was saying, <clears throat> this is the palette to have. This is the palette of 2016 and they were right. Almost all the colors I mentioned that I said I would never use, I've used them. I've used raw sienna, I've used golden ochre, I've used burnt orange, I've used Bone Fresco, and I have also used a little bit of Red Ochre. It's really pretty. If you have not gotten this palette, you do need to. This, I believe, is a permanent palette. It is so good. It is a palette that's going to help you get out of the box. It's going to help you get out of your reds because there are shades that many people don't use. Many people don't use reds. They don't use pinks because that looks weird on people's eyes normally. But when you get an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, it's like magic and it works wonderful. The shadows are perfect. I really want to grow my single shadow collection this year. That's one of my makeup goals of 2017 is to grow my single shadows. So I think I'm going to start getting single shadows of the Anastasia collection. So speaking of single shadows, I created a Z palette that has literally the best shadows in my collection. So this is a palette wherever, whenever I had to travel, whenever I had to do my makeup elsewhere, whenever I had a show, this is the palette I created and took with me. So I have three Makeup Geek shadows and, well, four Makeup Geek shadows and four Wet n Wild shadows. So this is a look, I mean, this is a collection of colors that I could use to make several eyeshadow looks. Um, obviously you can tell this is my most used one. This is Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. I really do love it. This is Peach Smoothie, and this is Peaches and Cream. Oh, Beaches and Cream. I always say peaches. It's Beaches and Cream, and then I forgot what this one is called. This is Roulette. And then the three eyeshadows right here are Walking on Eggshells from Wet n Wild. This is also a Wet n Wild um, shadow, but I depanned it from a limited edition one, so I have no idea where it's from. But this is what I'm wearing today. So on my face today is my go-to makeup look of 2016. And it is my Walk On Eggshells Trio. And then I have this shadow in the crease. I also have Creme Brulee in the crease. And I also use peaches, Peach Smoothie as a base. 
So I use all these shadows, plus one more, which I'll show you next, to create the look I am wearing today. It was my go-to look. It's what I wore to a wedding. It's what I wore on Thanksgiving. It's what I wore on Christmas. I think I wore this on my birthday. I wore this whenever I had any fancy outing to go to. I wore this look. This palette has been with me all year. I use it weekly. I use it several times a week. It is such an amazing go-to Z palette. And if you guys are wondering um, where the Z palette's from, it is from Sephora's. I picked it up inside my Sephora, which is a JC, JC Penney's Sephora. I'm not sure if it's a JC Penney's exclusive, but it is the perfect Z palette to travel with because it is so small. And I always put in a blush right here. I think I would pop out one of my Tarte blushes. I forgot which one it was. I believe it was Exposed. And I would just pop it out and I would put it there. I'm good to go. I have everything I need right here in this palette. This is probably my most treasured makeup item of 2016. The item that I would also use almost every single time I would go on a trip or I had a special outing is ColourPop Amaze. Amaze is an amazing shade. It is by far my favorite color pop eyeshadow. You guys ready to see this? Bam! It's amazing. It's what I'm wearing on the tops of my eyelids. I get compliments on it. My mother asked me what was on my eyes and I showed her and she used it and my mother never wears glitter or shimmery shadows. She loved it. It is such an amazing color. Um, I'm probably going to have to get a backup of this because I love Amaze so much. This is the perfect topper for any eyeshadow. I don't like wearing it alone because it pulls too red. Do you see? And I want it to pull more bright to bring out the glitter in it. And so that's what Walking on Eggshells does. I just dropped the lid. It pairs with it so nicely that it just pulls out the glitter in it and I absolutely love it. I fell in love with two mascaras this year. One of them is a travel size. I don't even remember where I, oh, this was a 100 point perk from Sephora. This is, no, 250 point perk um, from Sephora. This is Stila Huge Mascara. I've never tried any Stila products except for Stila Kitten. And this is their mascara. It reminds me of Better Than Sex from Too Faced. It even has like the same hourglass shape. This gives you amazing lashes. It's not as good as Better Than Sex, but it's a very, very, very close second. Um, it's super, super pigmented. It's like super black mascara. It's volumizing, it's lengthening, and it adds a curl. It gives you huge lashes. It's fantastic. And this is a deluxe size sample. I've had it for a long time and it's only gotten better with age. It's like wine, it's fine wine. It gets better with age. So Young Wild and Polish, she talked about the Essence line on her Snapchat and she talked about the green one, which I also like. I just don't have it anymore because I ran out of it. Um, so this, the green one is like lengthening and that gives you amazing length, like false lashes length. And then this is the volumizing one. And I absolutely love both of them. I pair them together when I use them. But I use the lengthening one a little bit more so it did dry out faster. This has an interesting shape to it. So it's like kind of fat and curvy on the back but then flat in the front. So this gives you length. It's what I'm wearing today on my lashes. It gives you length and volume. Some people say it clumps up with them. And if I do more than two coats, yes, this does clump up on me. So don't do more than two coats, just stick with two, you'll be fine. It gives you the volume and it gives you the length you need. And plus it's like $2.99. Who can beat that? Okay, so I have four lipsticks to talk about. I probably have more, but these were the four that came to my mind when I was making up my list. So the first one is Kinda Sexy from MAC. This is by far my favorite MAC lipstick. I am halfway done with it, so I do need to try to probably finish it so I can get a new one. But this is a nice creamy coral. Right there. A little bit more pink than coral. A lip gloss that I just started using probably at the big, no, end of November, but it made its way into my favorites because I used it for about two weeks straight is the Urban Decay 
lip gloss in kinky this is the perfect lip gloss i haven't been a fan of lip gloss for a very long time but this one's highly pigmented and great there it is right there and it lasts all day long it doesn't come off and then here is ColourPop Pinch. I think Pinch is a permanent one. I don't think it's limited edition, but there's Pinch right there. As you can tell, Kinky and Pinch, they pair well together and that's what I do. I wear Pinch and then I put Kinky on and so, so pretty. Pinch is a little bit deeper. And then the lipstick that I'm wearing today is by far my holy grail ColourPop product, and it is Beeper. Beeper is an ultra matte lipstick. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Once again, I'm wearing it today. It does dry darker than what's in the tube. So, example. So, yes. And as you guys can tell, I've used the heck out of this. I let it sit down for a whole week straight, and I'm about right there with the product. About to be done with it. So, see it. I just realized I totally skipped brows. But a brow product that I'm in love with is the Anastasia Brow Powder. I got this when it was the first 21 days of sale from Sephora, and I love it. This is in the shade Soft Brown. It's what I'm wearing on my brows today. I've been wearing it on my brows ever since I purchased it. I love the brow powder. I really have never fallen in love with the brow powder until I found this one. It's so good. Let's move on to nail polish. So pretty much the entire year I had this nail polish on. It's Aaliyah and it's in the shade Mr. Pookies. This is a all natural vegan nail polish brand. I did get this in an Ipsy bag and I want to get more because I love it. It's creamy, it's long lasting and it does not chip whatsoever and it's full coverage in one coat. I just like to do two because I'm used to doing two but one coat is the best and it's this nice taupey color. Black Friday I did take advantage of the different dimensions Black Friday sale and I purchased three nail polishes. They were 40% off and I absolutely love them. I'm going to do a separate video on them but no I love 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 this brand. My favorite one is Tradition. I had a snap of it on my snapchat so if you're not following me on there you probably should. Um, this is just an out of this world nail polish company. I don't know how they do it. And then this is Helix Nebula, which is like a nice green and thankful for you, which is a nice pink. I have it on my toes right now and it's, it's amazing. I really do love this nail polish brand. It's creamy. It's great. It's pigmented in two coats for both of them, except for Helix Nebula. This is a jelly formula, so it's a little bit sheer than the rest. If I do three coats, we're good. And the glitter is fine glitter. It's not chunky glitter. How do they do this? I don't know. But be on the lookout for a in-depth review on different dimensions. Nail polish, just know I love them in 2016. I decided to throw in some skincare favorites because I rarely talk about skincare and that's something I do want to change in 2017. But I discovered Pond's. I've heard everybody talk about Pond's cold cream and how amazing it is, and I finally decided just to try it. And so I got the Pond's cold cream cleanser. It's a moisturizing deep cleanser and makeup remover. A little bit of this goes a long way. I use just a pea size amount of it and it melts my makeup off. So good. It's not as good as the Clinique Take Off the Day cleansing balm, but this is a close second. This is so, so good. I really do like it. If you've never tried Pond's Cold Cream, go check it out at your local Walmart. All right, and then one of my most popular videos of 2016 was my Pixie haul video. And I realized I never mentioned Pixie again to you guys, um, but they've made it to my 2016 favorites. I absolutely love the Pixie skincare collection. So my two ultimate favorites is the Pixie Royce, Rose Oil Blend, super moisturizing. When I probably, I think I destroyed my skin in July. In July, I totally destroyed my skin. I was using this topical cream that completely dried it out. I kept putting it on thinking that, oh, it's drying out my skin because it's getting rid of the acne, but no. 
it was burning my skin. Like my skin was burning. Um, I started using this every single day to bring back the moisture. And after three days of using this, my skin was back to normal. Like literally I was using benzoyl peroxide on my skin and I kept allowing it to burn my skin. My skin was bumpy and red and itchy and it was so painful. But then I used this rose, rose oil blend and it brought it back to life. So, so good, so moisturizing. I absolutely love this stuff. I'll never be without it. Then the Overnight Glow Serum. I use this about two times a week because this can be a little much on my skin. It is a glycolic um, exfoliating oil and it really helps with my acne. I'm pretty, I'm done with this one. I need to go get a new one. It's completely gone. So I, need, I do need a new one of this, but this really does help with my acne. If you have acne issues, I would definitely suggest getting the Overnight Serum. This is the toner. Yes, this is also a travel size, but during the holiday they had a gift set package of it for like $15 and you get like the cleanser, this, and the mask, which I'm about to show you. And so I just picked it up because usually for like a medium size of this is $15. But this is the Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. Whatever toner you're using is not as good as this one. This toner is the best. It's amazing. It really, really helps with my skin. It really helps exfoliate. It really helps smooth it out. And I do think this is what's helped me clear up my acne in 2016. And I'm going to continue to use it until the day I die. A mask that is just as amazing as everything else I mentioned is the Pixie Glow Mud Mask. Every YouTuber that gets PR from Pixie says they love this and I believe them because I see them use it more than once on Snapchat. Young Wild and Paula, she uses it almost every every week. She has this mask on. It is so good. It's really good as a spot treatment as well. I like to put it on my chin because that's where I break out the most. It is a 15 minute mask. It dries, it clears up. Your skin feels like a baby's butt after you take it off. It's so, so good. All right, guys, in 2016, I decided to make the switch to natural deodorant. It wasn't a fun journey. It was a smelling <laughs> journey, but I made the journey. Um, the deodorant that I have discovered that works the best, I've tried like four different natural deodorants, and this is the one that I think works the best. And it is La Vanilla, the healthy deodorant, healthy deodorant in the scent Lavender Vanilla. It's really good. It's this creamy one. You can get it from Sephora. Um, what I have learned with natural deodorant is you have to use it more than once a day. You have to reapply it. This does allow you to sweat. It allows your body to detoxify itself. So you have to apply this at least twice a day, especially if you're a sweaty person like me. I'm sweaty. It's gross. I don't know what to do about it, but I use this. It's really good. It's one of my favorite things of 2016. So those are all my items of 2016. I know this video is super duper long. I do apologize for it, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And please do check out Heather from La Petherette. Her link is down below and her card is also going to be right up here. It's going to be a link to her channel or her video, whichever one. But yes, go check her out. Go subscribe to her. 2016 was a really good year for her. She got married in 2016. So I don't know. Thank you, Heather, for always texting and asking if I want to be a part of your yearly collab video. It's very, very thoughtful of you. I really do enjoy doing these collab videos with you. So thank you so much for inviting me. And I'm so excited for what 2017 is going to bring both of us and this channel and to everyone listening and watching. I'm so excited for 2017. It's going to be a great year. I have lights. If you guys didn't notice, my lighting is like a lot better. I got lights. So it means I'm going to get back to filming. I can film after work. I can film at midnight if I wanted. So really excited. Be on the lookout for my, more videos coming soon. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a really, really good start to your new year. And as always, guys, have a beautiful day. Bye, guys.